Imagine you've lived your whole life on an island. You think this island is all there is. Everything that could possibly exist exists on this island. Then one day, you find the ocean. You have no idea what it is or that it was even there. But suddenly, your world has opened and you realize this island you've known your whole life is only a fraction of what's out there. That's exactly what it was like for astronomers about a hundred years ago, only on a much, much larger scale. They realized that everything they thought was everything – chairs, chopsticks, chihuahuas – makes up less than 5% of the universe. Around 27% is something called dark matter, which we'll get to in a bit, but the bulk of it is dark energy. Dark energy makes up around 68% of our universe. But what is it? Well, the short answer is we don't know. It's invisible and we haven't been able to detect it yet. So how do we know it's there? I mean, saying something we have no idea what it is makes up more than half of the universe is a pretty bold claim. Well, we need to start the story where all stories start at the beginning of the universe. Once upon a time, the universe was a tiny, infinitely dense speck. One day, there was a Big Bang, which we now call the Big Bang, and the universe exploded outward in a burst of energy and has been expanding ever since. But all the while, gravity is quietly working against the expansion, oh so gently pulling back at the edges of the universe. Astronomers studying this naturally assumed that gravity was slowing the expansion rate down. But when they measured it, they found the most incredible thing. It was actually speeding up. Something else was there, a driving force that's pushing everything apart, working against the force of gravity. This driving force is what physicists call dark energy. And that's all we really know about it. It's causing the universe to expand faster than ever before. It's kind of like gravity's evil, slightly more athletic twin. While gravity pulls everything back in, dark energy pushes everything back out and wins by a lot. We may still be in the dark about dark energy, but that doesn't mean scientists don't have some ideas. The leading theory is that dark energy is created from empty space. Yes, empty space. And yes, that is the leading theory. According to quantum physics, empty space contains an energy called a vacuum energy, and it's causing space-time to expand. In fact, string theorists don't find it surprising that dark energy exists. What they do find surprising is that there's so little of it. Now, when I heard that they thought there was so little of it out there, my first reaction was 68% seems like a pretty big chunk. But then when you think about all the empty space that's out there, it does kind of seem on the low side. Turns out it's a bit more than just on the low side. Physicists think there should be a factor of a Googleplex more dark energy than the expansion of the universe accounts for. In case you don't know what a Googleplex is, it's a one followed by a hundred zeros. I just wanted to say Googleplex. Googleplex. <laughs> to put this into perspective, the estimated number of atoms in the universe is a one followed by 85 zeros. This is one of the big questions of cosmology, and people have come up with various theories, like defining new forces or special fields that permeate space and vary with time. Unfortunately, testing these theories is difficult, and they're still in the very early stages of development. Just like it took centuries to figure out that lightning wasn't created by a bearded guy wearing a dress, it may take many more centuries to truly come to grips with the nature of dark energy. Speaking of things we haven't come to grips with yet, what about the remaining piece of the universe pie? What's the story there? My friend Dom from Everything is going to tell you guys a bit more about that slice. Over to you, Dom. Hi, Jade! So, the remaining 27% of the universe is made up of stuff called dark matter. That's five times the amount of normal matter. Astronomers first noticed it when they observed something odd about the way galaxies were spinning that just didn't make sense. However, it's invisible, and so far we haven't been able to detect it. So how do we even know it's there? 
Head over to the video on Dom's channel, Everything, to find the answer to that question, plus a whole bunch of other really cool stuff about dark matter. Links are in the description and hopefully on the screen if I edited this correctly. Um, yes, that's all from me, so go click on that video and I'll see you in my next video.